Welcome everybody, this is Heroes and Brews with Nerdy Dudes. We are your friendly neighborhood bureaus, Ty, Kev, and uh, it's the segment time where we find out if someone is a villain. Or a dick. Or if they're just a dick. Yeah. And with Infinity War coming out today, we are going to do the most previous film for the Marvel Universe, Mm -hmm. Black Panther. Yes. So, Kev. Yes, sir. Eric Killmonger. Yes. Is he a villain? Or is he just a dick? Well, uh, I think he's a villain. Okay. First off, Michael B. Jordan. Amazing performance. Amazing actor, that Michael B. Jordan. Um, I never knew much about Eric Killmonger. I didn't know much about Black Panther, to be honest either. with you. I learned so much from these Marvel films. Um, it's incredible. The reason I think he is a villain is because he... I think I, I think a brilliant villain, and I, I've said this before to compare it to Daredevil, the Netflix series, as an audience... Or a member of the audience, when you feel for the villain, yes. When you, you saw see... one of my points, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. We're, we had the both. Okay, both okay. The same vision but I mean, when this. when they're going through the steps that they're going through to accomplish a goal of theirs, and at the time you're you're thinking, man, this individual is going through lengths to achieve something, yes. And then you feel this resentment. Obviously, because, you know, either people are losing their lives yep. and it's just, you know, to you, it's like these are innocent lives. And of course, I'm going to hate this individual. Yeah. And then you learn about the background of this person and, and then you realize, wow, like, OK, I can kind of sympathize with him in a way yes. and understand his mindset and why he's doing what he's doing. Yeah. His dad was killed. Yeah. By Black Panther's dad. T'Challa. Yeah. yeah. His brother. Yeah. Kill his own brother. Yeah. Yeah. What an emotional scene in that film. It was. Um, but see, my thing is, first off, Eric Kilmonger, played by Michael B. Jordan, just his performance set the tone for me because he was confident. He was cocky. He knew what he was doing. And he was, go- he was going for the Black Panther position, and he knew he was going to take it. It's like he worked his ass off. Yes. From day one. Yes. When he was like eight, nine years old, playing yeah. basketball when his dad got killed, he yeah. was working his butt off from that day to take that throne, to yeah. take what he felt was rightfully his. And you saw all the marks on him from all the kills when he was in the army, yes, or the special forces, and that alone was sick. I thought that was awesome. His look when he had his shirt off, all these bumps from all the people he's yeah, killed. Man. I'm like, this guy is no joke. Yeah, like no joke. This guy has gone into war and just taken people out with no regrets, and he's about to take out the Black Panther. Like, that's such a that's such a good point. Yeah, that you made. Um, that this person had a goal, and he was going to do absolutely anything necessary yes. to prove a point. Yeah, and he did, and his his delivery. Yes. was just outstanding. His yeah. whole, this is how it is. You're yeah. not going to convince me otherwise. Yeah. And try try your best to do so. Like I have, this is your best, this is your warrior, your Black Panther. Yeah. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to make him kneel before me. Yeah. This person, you have no idea who this is. You know, you have no idea who yeah. I am or, or my story at or all. Where I came but from. I'm going to show, I'm going to show you what I'm all about. Yeah. And it was, how is that not a villain, you know? See, I'm leaning towards that. So, also, which pushes me more towards the villain side, is that, you know, when you become the Black Panther, you have to take the fruit, get buried, and come to life as the Black Panther. He was like, we're burning it all. He's like, I am the Black Panther. I am the last one. And this is all going. Like, that is epic. Like, even the way he speaks... And the way he's his stature as he does all this is just villain, complete villain. Mm-hmm. And there's like nothing anyone did about it. They just they obeyed him. They stood in fear. They saw what they did to their beloved. Like you fucking sorry. <laughs> I want to bleep sorry. that out when I when we do this. It's okay, man. Like, let it out. It was wild. Yeah. And just 
every time I saw him on screen, it was tense. Mm. It was epic. And I'm like, this is how a villain needs to be in every movie. In every movie. He was a dominant force. He kicked butt. That's like, the best dominant yeah. force. He never flinched or no. blinked an eye. He, he did not in, back down he once. He knew what he wanted, yeah. and that was it. And everybody was taken back because yeah. he just said, this, this is how it is now. Yeah. If if you don't follow this, well, then you're dead. And you can obviously see that I'm going to do this. I'm not bluffing. This is how it is. And the best part was he had tribes within the community following him instantly. Yeah. Instantly. Yeah. Michonne, I, I forget the Michonne's character's name, but her boyfriend... Where they had all the rhinos, like the epic rhinos, that oh, tribe yeah, yeah. followed him right off the bat. They 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 felt the same idea as him. They they liked what he was doing. They wanted to show the world their dominance. And if you're a villain, you make that kind of impression. Sure. You make you make people that are on the good side follow you because they want to fo- they want to take they want to follow the lead of someone who is just so dominant, and they want to show their will as well. And sure. this was their time to shine and show the world, this is Wakanda, this is what we're about, and we're about to show the world what we are. Yeah, he 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 made them question something that they had, uh, they followed all of their lives. They only knew this one way, yeah. you know. And for somebody to come in an absolute stranger and to take their minds and move them just slightly to have them think another way. Is pretty remarkable. Like when you really think yeah. about it, you know. I understand this is make believe. I'm sorry, yeah. everybody, but it, it is. But we love it anyway. That's why we have this show. Yes. Um, he was from Oakland, I believe. Yeah. This kid from Oakland comes to this, you know, fantasy world of Wakanda. Yeah. You know, they. Uh, it's this African, you know, civilization that it, you know technology advanced te- ex- up yes. to wazoo. Thank you. <laughs> and. He comes in and he says, this is this and this is how it is. And to have yeah. people actually agree with him and, and, like I said before, question what their, their beliefs were. Yeah. I, I mean, that's pretty remarkable. I mean, one could look at it and go, that's a dick move. But I think he's a true villain. He's, a, so he's, he's a true villain. Right Somebody there, who yeah. manipulates, yes, stands their ground. And I feel like doesn't back down because yes. there are villains that will that will back down. It'll be sneaky and try and like go around the bushes or the or the the vision sites to like try and get their goals. But he was just like, "Come, come at me! I'm gonna go through you, and there's nothing you can do about it." Yeah, that's a villain. Yeah, hundred percent. And the gold suit, the gold and black back Black Panther suit, villain. 100%. Oh my god! When I that saw suit. when I saw them show the different suits, and I saw the goal, I'm like, "That's Eric Killmonger right there." Not because the Funko Pop that I saw come out like two weeks ago, <laughs> but because that fits his character, and uh, that's yeah. what he's going to wear. Yeah. Oh man, awesome. that suit was legit. And I was so sad. Spoiler alert: He dies. But he he died in such. And I, before you said that, I was I was kind of replaying the film yes. in my mind. At the very end. If I'm not mistaken, you can correct me okay. on this. Wasn't there a way? Couldn't T'Challa s- potentially save him? I don't think so. Because remember, he brought him out to see like the the view for one last time because okay. he was trying to like he wanted him to like enjoy the beauty of Wakanda before he went. Yes, I think that's what it was. Okay, maybe that's what it was. I wasn't sure if he, he could save him and he just refused because no, he just th- wanted to stand by what he believed in. No, because I, I think I would have. I think he would have saved him if he could have, T'Challa. But there was he said, a, and it, it's driving me crazy. I forget. There was a line that he said at the very end that that was still. You were all, in a way. I, yeah. I mean, for me, I was almost hoping. Okay, right before he dies, maybe he would kind of look at T'Challa, you know, because they're cousins. Yeah. And you would almost feel this like sympathy, as if you know, like even though I I did what I did, your family, I love you. Yeah. But from what I remember, I, I don't know if I'm wrong. He said a line that kind of still dug at T'Challa, you know, still like even so, though I'm yeah. dying, like sort of like f you kind of thing. And then that was I it, think you so. Know? I don't remember the line. I can't I was, remember. It I was more upset that he was killed off because he was awesome. Michael B. Jordan was phenomenal. Because I think. As amazing as Marvel movies are, what what I've heard a lot 
is that a lot of their villains are are, are weak. Yeah. Um, this was not with the, the exception case. of Loki. Yeah. And I think this one. I don't know. I kind of like the Vulture in Homecoming. Yeah, so did I. Um, but I think overall, Eric Killmonger was this breath of fresh air. Like, yes. Wow. Okay. Marvel's got a pretty solid villain here. Yeah. Um, and it, it yeah, it kind of sucks to see him go. Yeah. But he he did what he was supposed to do, and and uh, I'm not mad about it. So people. Yeah. We think he's a villain. What do you think, Eric Killmonger? Is he a villain? Mm-hmm. Is he just a dick? Or is he just a dick? Yeah. Feel free to comment. Like, comment subscribe, below. like all that fun subscribe, stuff. Subscribe, use subscribe, the, like. Use the promo code for Tavor. Download Tavor. Download Tavor. Bureaus. Bureaus. Promo code B E E R O E S. I'm hoping we can. This like appears on the screen, maybe. I, it's gonna be like somewhere like here, I think. Somewhere right. right in this you know the way you, you you chanted that? It sounded like the Eagles chant. That's where it just came to my mind. Yeah. Dude, they just released their schedule. I know this has nothing to do with it. <laughs> Cheers, people. We're going to go talk football. But I'm pumped. Cheers. Cheers. Go Birds.